Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. I am so excited to finally be doing another get ready with me type of video. I just like, I really miss talking to you guys. Um, and I haven't had the chance to just like update you guys about life and uh, things in general. So for today's get ready with me, I really wanted to do a Jaclyn Hill palette tutorial or some type of video inspired by something from this palette and um, I'm gonna put I was inspired by an artist off of Instagram I'm gonna put the picture somewhere up here and this was just so beautiful it just caught my eye it's simple yet very very striking and I did have somebody request to do a tutorial with the blue in this palette so I was like okay girl I mean we could do that so yeah if you're brand new to my channel and you love beauty videos and get ready with me's and all that type of stuff go ahead and subscribe I do upload three times a week I try my best to stick to Monday Wednesdays and Fridays sometimes live comes through and I end up uploading on a different day but three times a week and I'm sticking to it <laughs> so first off I'm gonna start off with my Smashbox eye primer and y'all know the deal if you've been watching me for a while I use this baby all the time and I'm just gonna let this like marinate on here I feel like doing my face first which is unusual for me because I usually like to do my eyes first but I'm gonna let this primer sit here and I'm gonna set it of course but I want it to have a chance to marinate on my face also I already had a chance to like prime my face earlier if my face is looking a bit ashy that's why I used um what did I use I used a Tarte Clean Slate Primer, and I also use my e.l.f. Mattifying Balm in my T-Zone so that I stay matte. It's going to be a matte type of day. That's what I'm feeling. And I'm also going to go in with my Matte and Poreless from Maybelline Fit Me Line. And I'm going to go in with 368 on the outer parts and then 355 on the middle parts. If some of you guys remember the last get ready with me that I did, I talked about how I'm going to move to the East Coast. So that's coming really soon. And yeah, you know, I've been living in this particular part of California for like, oh, uh, past like four years. And you guys, you'd be surprised how much crap you end up with after four years so that's kind of stressful trying to like get rid of all your stuff and discover what you need what you need to you know get rid of so meh, I'm not looking forward to that part of the move so I know that I look like hella crazy <laughs> don't worry don't worry uh, we will definitely definitely fix this this is just part of the process with this particular foundation that I use but I'm definitely curious for those of you guys that have moved across the country or done a really big move like this. Um, do you have any tips as far as making things easier, making that cross country drive? Because we are driving. And the interesting thing is we are bringing my in-laws. They're coming along just to like keep us both company because we both are going to drive our own cars. Because we're probably going to need a trailer and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be nice to have some company for the drive. That's for sure. So you see how much nicer this looks now that those both colors are filled in there? It just gets to looking a little crazy like halfway through. <laughs> You're like, oh, this looks too dark. But I feel like this is the most, like the most natural way for me to get this foundation to work. And I have this huge zit here that's coming up. It's like one of those zits that's like underneath the surface and it hurts. Ooh, I accidentally like brushed up against it this morning. And you guys don't want to know how much it hurt this morning. Ugh. I was like, oh boy, she's going to be a big one. So there we go for concealer. I'm bringing out one of my favorites, the NARS Soft Matte. And I've got my little Kat Von D concealer brush. So if you guys follow me on Instagram and you watch my Insta stories, you might have seen my little cat that I have. His name is Kona. 
he's a little tabby cat and he's very adorable very sweet but he's very mischievous and this morning I was getting ready to film and he like hates when I'm in my beauty room because he can't he's not allowed to be in my beauty room because I have expensive lights in here and he's just as I said very mischievous because he doesn't like when I'm in here and he's not allowed he kind of like takes it as his time to just get into trouble and this morning he pulled the curtains down in the living room just so that I would come out of my room and have to fix them and when he knows he's in trouble he just runs into the laundry room so he just knew he was like okay I'm piecing out of here because I'm in trouble I always thought he's my first cat so I always thought I was like you know what I'm gonna get a cat cats are independent it's gonna be perfect for living in an apartment now my cat my cat's like, what you doing, huh? Uh, can, can I come in? I can't come in. Time to start some trouble. I'm like, you need to sit down. It's kind of like having a toddler. That's what I think. My relationship with my cat, at least. There's a, this girl that I follow on Instagram, and she always has the most beautiful, gorgeous, stunning lashes. So I was following, like, you know what? I'm gonna cave in. I'm gonna get myself a pair. So I'm excited. Today is the day where we try them out. Cause you know, I wanted to share my experience with you guys. I will say that from the company that I ordered, the shipping, it took forever. I think I ordered it on September 2nd and it took nine days to show up. I mean, that's fine, but I don't know. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit faster. I don't know, first world problems, you know? So to set the outer parts of my face, if you guys have been watching me for a while, y'all already know the drill. I'm using the Lancome Translucence Powder, and this is in the shade 500. Okay, so before I get into powder contour and highlights, I feel like now is a good time to start with my eyes. Now I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Uh, you know what? The sucky thing is, when I ordered this and I got it, I never got the actual little paper that says what you're using. So, um, I will just show you guys what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go in with Creamsicle right here, and I'm gonna use that as my first transitioning shade. It's really nice. It's actually very similar to my skin tone. And then I'm gonna pop in a little bit of this one right here. Now I'm going in for some red tones in this uh, eye color. So I'm going into this first one here. It's more of like a fiery red. And I'm still sticking into my like upper crease area. I don't wanna dip below the fold in my eye. So another thing that I wanted to share with you guys, um, part of my transition to moving and I'm not sure if some of you guys know this but I am a cycling instructor you know in the real world offline <laughs> and I love teaching spin class spin class is one of my biggest passions and I currently teach at a university so I teach alumni and college students and I'm so sad to have to leave that awesome group of people. I kind of just like really found my groove there, you know what I mean? Um, and I really developed as a cycling instructor since I've been working there, so it's like so sad to have to leave. And the prospect of, you know, starting somewhere new and developing another like fan base or people that love your style of teaching somewhere else is really intimidating actually. So we'll see. I'm hoping that I'll have time to still teach cycling, you know, and still do this, but um, we'll see. I mean, I might not be able to teach anymore once I move out there, unless I find like a fabulous spot, but I've got my fingers crossed that I'll find something really cool. Next, it's time for the star of the show, this blue shade right here. And I know that Jacqueline intended these shadows to be used wet. So I'm using my Fix Plus, spraying it on here, and I'm going in. Ooh, this is a pretty shade. I'm gonna switch to a flat brush so I can 
carve this out a little bit better. So another interesting thing coming up guys is that I will be going to film at Ipsy Studios. I'm so excited. I filmed there a couple times like, I don't know, I think it was last year or something like that. Um, I really like their studio setup and when I was just starting my channel they were like a big inspiration for like okay you know when my when I can get more equipment or better equipment like this is what I want my setup to be like and I've slowly it's been a while but I've slowly started to like get closer and closer to that and I have most of the stuff that they have at the studio at least since the last time that I went to go visit all right um so I really like this I don't even want to like deepen the outer parts because I feel like I don't want to take away from the shine that this blue is giving me, the life that it's giving me. I love it. I feel like regal. Something about blue does that to me. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. <laughs> For liner, I've got my M Cosmetics liner and uh, we're going to wing it out today. So these are the lashes that I ordered from Kate Minx and the style, it actually comes in this like really cute little box here and um, the style is Who H-O-U 832. Um, I'm going to pop them on and then I'm going to be right back. Now that my lashes are on, I'm going to go ahead and smudge some of this color right here on my lower lash line. I feel like I always make the weirdest faces when I'm getting into my lower lash line. It's just, it's unavoidable. For mascara, I'm using the Urban Decay's uh, Troublemaker. I'm going into my lower lash line. I think, to be honest, I like this mascara a lot better for my top lashes. For the bottom lashes, I don't feel like they did too much, but Meh. For this look, I feel like I had to pull out an old favorite, the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Kit. Uh, I believe this is the medium to dark one, and I'm going in with the contour shade. I like this uh, specific palette, but I don't know. I think it's more of like a winter palette for me, winter and spring, because it's not as warm as some of the other stuff I've been using, but it's still a good one. And I mean, it's drugstores, so you know it's affordable and for the everyday, sometimes that's just what you need, you know? I'm really feeling these uh, lashes. I think they're gonna grow on me. I have like one lash that's like sticking this way, sticking into like the side of my eye. Ooh, but um, that's okay. I mean, I can like cut it off and whatever later. I'm feeling like I want an intense, in Hence, glow today. So I got my Ofra Rodeo Drive. This is a beautiful one. I mean, it's a golden kind of color, so it's popping. Once I add my uh, setting spray to this, it's gonna look a lot nicer too. Mmm, looking pretty, pretty good. For blush, I'm gonna go in with. Toasted Almond from Black Radiance. So it's been a while, at least for me, since I did this combination of Night Moth and a red lipstick. I probably, it probably seems like I did it kind of recently, huh, because of my tutorial, but it's been a while for me, a couple weeks, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. I really want a red lip and I'm hoping that it's not gonna clash with the blue, but uh, we'll see. So first off, I'm going in with a Night Moth. Now I'm going in with Ruby Woo, the lipstick, the classic. <laughs> so this is the final look. You know what? I think that this red lip goes really well with the blue. I like the contrast. It is drama, drama, drama color in your face, but I really am happy with the way that this whole look came together. If you guys have some more time and you want to chill with me some more, don't forget, check out these videos here and subscribe. If you're still here, 
and you're not subscribed, <laughs> then uh, yeah, do so. And uh, for all my oldie but goodie subbies, I love you guys. I'm so thankful for all of you guys that watch my videos. It really, like, truly just warms my heart and makes me happy. YouTube is like my happy place. So thank you for being here with me. And I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!